National Anthem over with good evening from Royal LePage Place. My name is Chase Johnson. Joining me upstairs will be Pastor Don Richmond. Uh, it is the Prince George Spruce Kings now rocking a 25-13, 3-8 record against the 28-16, 1-0 West Kelowna Warriors. It's the biggest game of the season, and it also happens to be Peachland Warriors Night. Warriors honoring their neighbors to the south, wearing special Peachland jerseys. And I know you are just as psyched for this game as I am. Fans still rolling in the building. There was a huge lineup right before the national anthem, I was told. So fans still trying to get there. Off the stick of Farmer. Farmer holds on, fires a shot, looking for a tip from John Evans. It goes wide. Evans now, leaving it. Defoe, he shoots, he scores! And it's only fitting that the resident of Peachland scores on Peachland Warriors night. Chase Defoe, he considers himself somewhat of a goal scorer himself, has made it one nothing Warriors. Don't forget, last night the Warriors had a 100% night penalty killing and, uh, and it's been looking really good lately and it's looking good right now. Play continues as we just saw a monster collision right near the half boards. And That's right. Ruben will now take it back in for Big Rukanakis. Farmer, wide open was Brennan Nelson and the Warriors unable to capitalize. Another chance by Nelson. Dylan Shivas across. Gagno, he's got a good looking shot. He fires, blocked there by Riley Sherwood and Riley Sherwood's hurt. Riley Sherwood just trying to stay on two feet right now as the power play continues. Now teams are back to full strength. And Alexi Van Hukachero is out. Spruce Kings 0 for 3 on the power play. And it will be played back inside the neutral zone. Look out, Van Hukachero has stolen it. Van Hukachero turning on the Jets. Great save made by Jordan Fairley as Van Hukachero tried to drive it in five hole. We'll play it back the other way as Tyler Crystal collides big time there with Marciano. Now Crystal drops it back to Rukanakis. Here comes a big man, Nick Rukanakis. Left side pass, looking for his man to foe. Once again, now we see Cousins. What a save made by Justin Katz. That's two, not one, but two big saves made by the rookie goaltender. Ardenaz now has it. Now five on five, or I guess six on five here with the delayed penalty coming up. Joggin, back to Ardenaz. Tyson Jugnoff, pass down low to Crystal. Back to Jugnoff, pass down low to a wide open Trudeau. Great save made by Fairley. And Warriors, Tyler Rubin scored a huge power play goal against Prince George last time they were up north. Farmer, left side circle. Jugnoff, he scores! It's a tip from the captain, Elan Barlavois. It's a big power play goal. The Warriors are up 2 zip. That was great. And again, real good offensive possession. Uh, and that's what you want to see. I mean, we saw it from the Spruce King probably for uh, a couple minutes there. And the Warriors did the same thing when they had a power play and it paid off. Elan Barlavois scores. Time to goal, 18 minutes, 39 seconds. So another big goal here as Brennan Nelson lays out Josh Wright. He says, sit down. Joggin, cross ice feed to Ruben. The net's empty right now. Extra attacker out for the Warriors. Crystal waits. Crystal back up top to Joggin. Left side, Ruben. There's the pass down low. John Evans waits, looks, fires, scores! Here's Johnny! Warriors have made it 3-1 on the delayed penalty. Wow. Nothing on the delayed penalty. And wow is the word. It's back-to-back -back games where you just leave John Evans all alone in the left side circle. You're going to score almost every time. Back over to Marciano. Marciano to Gagno. Gagno looking for another tip play. Where is it? Justin Katz is leaning on top of it. And it's right pretty much on the line. Now we got some fisticuffs after the whistle. The uh, PG zone. Tyler Rubin, left side circle, surveys, gets around Colton Cousins. Rubin back down low, Crystal scores! Oh, he had to earn that one. TC20 from a great feed and individual effort from Tyler Rubin. It's 4-0 Warriors. Wow, that was so good. I just like the way Tyler Rubin just worked in from the left point there, just around a couple players and uh, and Tyler Crystal was right in the slot about three or four feet out of the blue paint. And Two for three here, if they can get set up here and create something, Nick Rukanakis. Left side pass, John Evans, left all alone, puck goes back, Farmer, he scores!
E-I, E-I. Oh, Kristoff Farmer has made it 5 nothing Warriors. And Warriors close to putting up over 30 shots here. As we get another shot, puck goes back, and another save made by Fairley. That's going to do it here. The Warriors, 5 nothing win, and more importantly, how about this? A 17-year-old picks up his second career BCHL shutout. 36 saves for Justin Katz.